Hey guys, um, I just came back from the store and I was just intrigued by what I just saw. Oh shit, this world's best mac and cheese. That's a lot of ego to be claiming that you're the world's best mac and cheese. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna try this though because I've never heard of such a, a thing. World's best mac and cheese. So I'm gonna put this thing in the oven and I'm gonna see just how good the world's best mac and cheese is, if it's best at all. Now keep in mind the expiration date was like November of last year, so I mean it should taste all right. It should be good because you know it was still frozen, and okay, well the box is coming apart. And I don't, I don't see any mold spots, so I mean I guess it's safe to eat. But I mean, so far it looks pretty good in frozen form. But for the instructions, they want me. To put it on 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. This mac and cheese better be good if I'm waiting 30 to 40 freaking minutes. I'm just gonna rip this part off if I ever need it again. All right, let's time to put this shit in the oven. I'm gonna put it on for 25 minutes though, because I really don't trust 30 to 40 minutes. I already pre melted it, so I mean, like, I shouldn't need it. So 25 minutes it is. 20 minutes later. All right, let's check out this mac and cheese. Alright, that looks golden brown to me. Should be done. And plus the sides are burnt, like right over here. So glad I didn't burn myself on this. This shit is hot. Let's taste test this bad boy. It said it's done when it's gold sizzling brown. But basically what I was trying to do was I was trying to taste test it. Well, test it to see if it was done. Because sometimes like inside these are just going to be cold to the core. I sick this for a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's not a good sign, especially when it's wet down there like that. Yeah, all that water. Let me taste. Let me test this again. It's still good. I was trying to figure out where there's so much juice and stuff like that. Like, I don't want frozen water in my macaroni and cheese. It dilutes the flavor. So far, every other part is good. Let me check the corners. And the corners are crusted, but that doesn't mean a damn thing to macaroni and cheese. I gotta find a way to get rid of this water. Because when it cools down... The... Alright, I'm gonna take one noodle out of here and then taste test it. Okay. So far, so good. I just wanted to make sure... It was actually done because you see some of these stale pieces on here. Like some of these pieces are like stale, but then like this half. Well, I can't eat this part because it's like still stale. You see how see how dark it is? I have water like that at the bottom. It just gets rid of the flavor. So let's see if I can do this without burning my hand or dropping anything on the floor. Because this is like 10 bucks, by the way, at the store. Yeah, all that. It is sauce, but most of it's frozen water. And you don't really want that in the mac and cheese. I got the majority of it out. Okay, my hand's burning. Fuck. Let me try one more noodle and I'll give it a good judgment. Try one with some mozzarella on it. Crunchy parts that you saw earlier on top, those are pretty good. It makes it harder, but... My final rating for this would just be like an 8 out of 10. I'm not saying this is the world's best mac and cheese. Anyone can throw sauce on it and make it good. On a bunch of spiral noodles or anything, but... I mean, this is okay. World's best mac and cheese. It was alright. Sort of.